So the first thing we're going to do, um, we're going to be replacing a lot of this stuff here. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is actually, let's go ahead and create a new file for our store. And we're just going to call it store. And you can see that my, uh, if you're peeking at my, my <laughs> file tree there, you'll see I've, I've done it before here, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, and we're going to pull some of this information in um, from here. So we want to grab the, actually, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, a function called, or an object called types from MobX state tree. And okay, if you so are, yeah, the, the store here that, that, that you're creating, this is now going to, this is where we're going to get our data from. Correct. Yeah. This is where okay. we're going to, uh, the, the data is going to be initialized here. And it's also going to be where we access uh, all of the stores any of the models that are, we're going to be creating. This will be this will be all of our all of our state is okay. going to live right here. And then we're going to uh, export a model. And remember, we have players, so let's let's make a player model. Um, whoops, sorry. Const both types dot model, and we're going to call it player model. You don't have to say that, but I like to do that for debugging purposes. It it makes the debugging a little a little nicer. Um, and then in there, we're going to now provide all the properties. And if you remember from the previous one, we have a name. And again, we're using uh, runtime types. So we're saying that it is a string, types of string. And then we have an image URL, which is a types.string. I'm going to, uh, just in case our data is a little dirty, uh, which I happen to know it is, um, I'm going to make these optional. And if there is no name provided by the data, I'm just going to say unnamed player. And if there's no URL, optional. So you can see I'm kind of wrapping the previous, the other types here. Um, I'm going to say that it's just a blank string. So if we created a player and it didn't have a name or didn't have an image URL, it wouldn't crash on us. So it it this very much it 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 reminds me an awful lot of 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 mongoose that what you're doing here is mm. you're describing a, uh, a a schema and so like for anybody who's not familiar mongoose is uh it's it's technically an ODM an object um, mm -hmm. document mapper I, I I do generically refer to it as an uh, as an ORM um, even though yeah. technically it's it's not an ORM I've I've had people mm -hmm. get upset with me in the past about that but anyway um but but what you're doing here is you're like just you're describing your schema um, that that optional then is is now you're you're sort of like flagging that as as nullable and and yep. so forth so I, I can you also like start to do little bits of, of validation in in there as as, as well yeah okay yep so okay. these already come with some validation if I were to for example not have the optional uh, and provide and and not provide the name or not provide the image URL it would actually throw a, a raise an exception mm. if um, if I, for example, provided a number uh, instead of a string, it would raise an exception. So it will it will do validation there. Um, now, what, one thing that's interesting is this only happens during development, and this helps you during development. Once you get into uh, production mode, it turns off all the type che checks just for speed. Uh, okay. But it's really handy during development because often, for example, you're you know maybe the the the, the API data has changed and you weren't aware of it. And now you need to know about this. So it's very developer friendly when it's, when it's doing this. And also these types then do get turned into TypeScript types. Okay. Ah, uh, that, 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 that makes me happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you only have to type it once and then it's good. Um, the other thing we want is an actual store, what we call a store. Often you'll put like a root store and then th that root store might have sub stores underneath it. I'm just going to call this the player store. Uh, and a, a store is a model. You know, there's not really any difference there uh, from an implementation standpoint. Um, but what it does for us, and you certainly don't have to do it this way, but this is how we do it. Uh, it holds lists of things and like broader, broader things. Often it'll be like um, state of maybe a, an entire screen or maybe even like, are you logged in? Uh, so you can use this however you want, but we're going to do a types.array and we're going to give it the player model. And we're going to say that we are going to have an array of players. So this players now will be that. Cool. Now we have those those two things. Actually, I probably don't need to export them, um, given that I'm going to be doing the next thing here. Uh, actually, that's how I that's how I that's how I practice. So I'm going to leave I'm going to leave that in there. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure you can get the exports there. Uh, we're not going to be importing them anywhere. That's right. <laughs> so now we need some way to instantiate 
the player store, feed it some like initial models. We're not going to be, it's just like the previous like set state or use state where we're just going to have an empty array when it starts. But we want to have some sort of way to access this within our, our um, component. So we're going to export a, uh, a we're going to kind of call it a hook. It's not really a hook, but you know, for the purposes of this, we're going to, we're going to do that. Use players. It's kind of a custom one. And it's going to be an array, or I mean, sorry, a function. And I'm going to say, let um, player store outside of it so we can kind of hang on to the reference here. If there's no player store yet, and I'm putting an underscore just so people know this is kind of like a, a local variable that's not really leaking outside of this. Um, then we say underscore player store equals capital player store. So we're referencing that, that schema that we just defined on line eight dot create, and we got to tell it what the players are, and that's just going to be an empty array. Okay. So it's, it's basically creating an instance of the player store. We have to give it initial data. And then at the end, we return the player store. Now, what's cool about this is that the second time this runs, it will skip this block entirely and just return what was already there. So we're not reinstantiating it every time that we re-render. You're Relatively straightforward, but um, let me know if you have any questions there. No, I was just gonna. You're basically just Im implementing a, a singleton pattern there to to set up yes. the, uh, the the player store. Okay, exactly. Yep. This is kind of a convention to use players, and it will be something that React developers understand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import that. Um, so use players from uh, store. Okay, and then um, I'm going to. Right here, uh, nope, let's see, right here. So instead of this, uh, I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to say const, ooh, const player store equals use players. And so now we have, an, we have an instance of the player store inside of our app. So okay. we want to load, you know, the next thing you see here is that we're fetching these rosters, right? And we're, we're loading them in by using set players. So let's just move this stuff into our store. There are a diff few different ways to do this, um, but I'm going to go ahead and and do it this way, where we uh, where we have this all kind of in one spot, the fetching and the defining of the schema. There's a few different ways you might do this, but just for this the purposes of this, actually, I'm going to move this up at the top here. I kind of like for for demo's sake, like keeping related things yeah. in a single file i i think it 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 works better works better like that that way there's always just that that little bit of 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 trying to figure out okay well how real world should i get while still making yeah. it understandable when when you're exactly doing yeah it's tricky totally so we we can't really just say like player store dot players equals you know these players right um because mob x state tree doesn't allow that the only place you can manipulate your data is in an action so we're going to do an actions block here. And what it does is this actions method will, and it's, it's, we're kind of chaining things onto this to define this player store. We're chaining you know, all of these different blocks. You'll see this in action. Um, but what it does is it passes in an instance of the store. And then I'm going to define some additional um, actions on it. So for example, set players is going to be a method. Uh, whoops, and we're going to need to get the new players here. And we just do store.players equals new players. So this is just dot notation, but the only place that that dot notation can happen is inside of an action. And we'll be using that in just a second. So let's go ahead and define another one. That's going to be fetch players. And this one is asynchronous. And inside of here, we're going to be um, referencing this fetch fetch rosters. So I'm going to say const data equals await fetch rosters. And then I'm going to say new players. Um, so we have we have that data, the JSON data that we that we looked at before. We're going to say data.players.map uh, and the player uh, that we will return will have a name, player.name, and it will have an image URL, player.image URL. There's a lot more data on this player object that we get back from the data. This, this is all we really care about. And then the last thing that we have to do is call 
store dot set players and pass in the new players. So that was that previous uh, action that we used. We're just calling that that action right there to to set that. Okay, so so that um, okay, so on 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 the player store, you're you're setting that that model to be player store, which you defined earlier, and then yep. the actions now is going to be the available uh, methods of of this store, and so you're yep. going to have two. The first is going to be um, set players, which is very similar to then that the hook um, uh, update function that you had earlier, mm -hmm. where hey, here's here's now the the updated set of of, uh, of players, and then that mm -hmm. fetch that's that's doing the map. So it's going to go get the data and go, hey, these are the only two properties that we care about. Let's create our player objects off of that. And then mm -hmm. uh, we, we go in and set that. Okay. Exactly. Yep. All right. And there are many different ways to do this, but this is a uh, you know, pretty common pattern here. Um, cool. So, uh, so that means in our app, we can now, instead of doing all of this, we can just say player store dot fetch players. And if I had TypeScript, then it would actually auto-complete that. <laughs> but literally, that's all we're doing is is fetching the players once we load up the uh, the app, and it's going to tell, it's going to complain that I need to make sure that player store doesn't change the ref. If the reference ever changes, we need to refetch, which is which is fair. So, uh, use effect. Th this is basically a def uh, dependency. Like, hey, it, we have a new player store. Let's let's rerun this. Okay. So, um, we're still getting errors on the right side here, but don't worry about that. We'll get to that. Um, so the player store has, and I'm actually going to comment this out for now. Uh, we're going to be doing that after a bit. So how do we get the players out of the player store? Well, players, player store dot players. Now it's grabbing the players from the player store and mapping through them just like it did before. Um, I'm going to save. I don't know if this is going to, ah, it's going to error on this here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to mock that up for a second and there we go it's actually loading them in this is using mobx state tree and it's actually loading in all of the data and showing all the different people including ben simmons 